Titans out here, back for another video review. Going to be reviewing Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, Human Alliance Bumblebee with Sam Witwicky figure. Now Sam is currently in the driver's seat. Um, I looked at the passenger seat. The passenger seat actually looks like you could store another figure. So maybe when the Michaela one comes out, you could put Michaela in the passenger seat. The doors do open. It does kind of have like a uh, uh, alternators like interior. Not quite like the alternators, but it's pretty close. This is Bumblebee is very much like a Voyager class size transformer. So uh, let me get the little Sam out here. He does peg into the seat. And uh, I think P.L. proved that you could put him in most alternators. So, um, this is the little Sam figure. Tiny little guy. And I thought the prototype figures had him with his uh, iconic jacket. Uh, but uh, maybe I was wrong. Uh, I just want to show you the size. This is your average scout figure. This is pretty much your average size. He dwarfs him. I mean, this guy is tiny. He's smaller than any G.I. Joe figure I used to have. I mean, that's how small he is. That is... He's like a really tiny little figure. But there's somewhat good detailing on the face. He kind of has like this blank expression. Like he's not really thinking anything. But we're not here for this. We are here for this. It is the... Uh, once again, this is no longer the concept Camaro. This is now the production Camaro with this big grill down here and these new little lights. It is a highly detailed uh, figure. This time you're not going to see it. That little silver bit is the Camaro, the word Camaro, and this time it's covered in silver, silver this time, which is nice. Uh, the gas cap is colored. It does have a license plate that, uh, you know, you're not going to see it. It says 4NZZZ4 Five, four. If anybody knows what that means, please tell me, because and it that same license plate number appears on his license plate crotch. <laughs> I don't know why they put the license plate there, but they did. Um, transforming him, very alternator. You have to open the doors. Um, one thing I found about this this one. In some parts, he seems complicated like an alternator, but in other parts, he seems as simple like the average Transformer people buy. So it's kind of like, it really is a mix between like the alternators and the, uh, and the regular Transformers that they put out. So, oh, and for those who don't know ulti what alternators are, it was alternator slash vinyl tech, which was an endeavor, I think, by Takara to make more realistic looking vehicle modes for the Transformers. You know, you give uh, Trax his alt mode that he had like in the original G1, the more realistic looking car. Uh, you want the real story? Go into uh, Diancis slash Silverbolt. Silverbolt's uh, reviews. He has a full detailed reviews of uh, of uh, what the alternator final tech story is. Uh, I don't really want to waste time because I could suck up this, suck up my entire ten minutes on trying to explain everything about that. Um, uh, it is an interesting transformer. Uh, it doesn't have any Mecha Live features in it like it does some of the others. There's no Mecha Live in it, which I'm very surprised they didn't include it. Um, so I was surprised when I found out there was no mech alive in this toy. Um, ugh. bringing him down can be a real challenge. You almost feel like you're gonna break something if you're not careful. Okay, sorry I cut that off camera. I'm not really good at transforming on camera, so. Um, get everything straightened out for you. One thing I will, two things I want to note that I'm not very impressed with. You can see the chest armor, how it's curved. It's on a spring, so they get getting pulled back. 
I think that's supposed to be like an automorph feature for when you go back into vehicle mode, but they don't hold into place too well. So I'll tr I've tried holding them in like this, and sorry for that blue light that's coming from my speakers. I've tried holding them in like that, but they always want to slip back in. So most times I just leave it like that because it's easier. Um, he does come with this iconic proton cannon. I think it's what it is. It's either a proton or a plasma cannon. I'm not sure. I was actually expecting, when I saw the prototypes, I thought, oh, he's actually going to have a hand fold back out to make a second hand. Or no. He doesn't get that. I thought he would, but he doesn't. Um, one other thing. It's, this is not the best, I might add, but he does come with his battle mask. But it, it doesn't really look like his battle mask. It looks like the top of his head just folded down on top of him. That's what's really happened. I mean, there's his regular face, and you just push down and you have his battle mask, but there's this gap here which is not on the design of his battle mask. Um, so it's kind of annoying. Um, now the Sam Witwicky figure can fit on, can, okay that sounded wrong to me, but Sam can sit on certain parts of Bumblebee's uh, weapons, you know, he could sit right where his, Bumblebee has his, uh, because the seats are right beneath his hands. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Jumped away from me. It's never happened before. Okay. See, he can sit like that. And he's on his cannon. I don't know why they did that. This one's actually, his other arm's a little better. It makes a little more sense. Um, and behind the seat are these two, this is like a little fold-out gun thing. I guess for Sam to shoot a Decepticon with. I'm not entirely sure, but that's what that's for. Um... Sam out, fold that back up. He also has a little stand inside his, uh, inside of him. What you do is you fold this piece up, you fold this out, that makes a second gun. And there's this, go inside here, you really can't see it. You fold out what I guess is supposed to be some kind of mini missile launcher. That little gray bit next to his head is a mini missile launcher. And what you can do is you can. You pig Sam his feet into the onto the stand. Try to get this right. This is a little it's a little tricky because his feet don't hold still. And then Sam's hands can hold on to the side of the missile launcher. Or at least one of his hands. Basically, that's what you're shooting for. Sam's holding the cannon and shooting for Bumblebee. Uh, it's kind of dorky. I don't see the use for it. Um, I mean, the weapons are kind of nice. Not great. Uh, they could have probably done a little bit more with the battle mask. Uh, a one other, there's one more peg on his right on his hand. I'm thinking, what is that for? And uh, I guess it's so he could hold bump Sam like this. But I mean, that's really it. He does come with two missiles. I, I stored them. I'll say it again. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I hate spring-loaded missiles. I really do. So I don't have them. I'm not firing them. I'm not showing them. I'm sorry if anybody doesn't like that idea. Other than that, this is a great toy. I picked it up because I wanted to. If you see it, go ahead and get it. I found mine at a Kmart. Um, so you might want to give them a look to try to find it. Other than that, great figure. I, I picked it up because I like it. If you like the idea of the Human Alliance, go ahead and pick it up. Uh, when the Michaela one comes out, I'll do a review of that one. Until then, I'll see you when I see you.